endochondral bone formation, basin staining. This is the zone of mesenchymal invasion. Down here, you see a little thin layer. That's the bony color formed by desmalossification. Here you have the cartilage, and here the bluish territories are the newly formed bony spicules. In between the bony spicules up here, you have a loose connective tissue that we call primitive bone marrow. Further down, you have red bone marrow. In the cartilaginous territory, you see vessels breaking in. These show that soon the secondary ossification center would form. If we enlarge the cartilage, then we see the resting cartilage. This is here the resting cartilage. And if we proceed in the direction of the mesenchymal invasion, then we see the signs of proliferation. The cartilage cells line up. They form longitudinal rows. Then the longitudinal rows enlarge. They, this is the zone of hypertrophy. And then they degenerate. This we call the zone of degeneration. Then the mesenchymal tissue invades, brings the osteoprogenitor cells that multiply and differentiate to osteoblasts. The osteoblasts will sit onto the surface of these directing trabeculae, remnants of the cartilage. Here you see the, uh, the intercellular substance of the cartilage, and that continues downward here. Here are the osteoblasts. These are here the osteoblasts. They produce osteoid. This gives this dark blue contour for the, these uh, uh, directing trabeculae from originating from the intercellular matrix of the hyaline cartilage. Further down, you see that some of the osteoblasts, here you see osteoblasts on the surface, some of the osteoblasts will get embedded into the osteoid. The dark blue material is the osteoid with collagen fibers, and the red spots are the osteocytes originating from the osteoblasts. Here you also see osteoblasts. Moving down to the diaphysis, you see on the surface of the bony spicule the osteoblasts, but many of these are already embedded here. These are the osteocytes. And the territories, which are not purely, purely blue, this is yet here only blue, so this is just osteoid, but where it has kind of like a reddish color that shows already the calcification. So these are here, or these territories are partially uh, calcified. This bone, what, for, what is formed here, is a woven bone, which will have to be replaced by lamellar bone later. These are here osteoclasts, this and this cell. You see the many nuclei with the nucleolus in it. Here also the nucleus and the nucleolus and the cytoplasm of the cell is typical as it's sitting on, a, on the tip of a bony spicule uh, like a cap. This picture is from our internet website and shows a detail from the endochondral bone formation stained with H and E. You see the remnant of the cartilage here in the middle, the osteoblasts on the surface, the newly formed osteoid, these narrow pinkish areas, eosinophilic territories because they contain collagen fibers. And here you see a few nice osteoclasts. This, this, and this. 